This video, video is going to be demonstrating manufacture of uh, the, the body of uh, my Smithmaster tool. This procedure put, cuts grooves into each end of a piece of Delrin, which is about five inches long, and also drills a hole in the end. It does uh, six pieces at a time, it cuts the groove in with a thread mill. It does a real nice job. I used to do these one at a time on a lathe, and uh, this is a much faster system on my Haas TM1 mill. So here goes. <coughs> First step is to face off the top, they're all the same length. Leave the rough stock a little bit long. And here's some vibration from the uh sticking up out of the vise. The cutter might be getting a little dull too. Picking up the thread mill now. The tree just uh, whirls itself around the piece and cuts the little grooves real nicely right on there. I'm going to need a little bit more air on there. Chatter now and again. So there's about an inch, a little over an inch of that uh, 5 8 dollar sticking up above the top of the vice shell. So superior to uh, manufacturing one at a time in a lathe. This is just no comparison. This is way less tedious. Uh, even with the CNC lathe that I have, it was still pretty tedious to uh, stand there and flip each piece end for end. Party operation is come over and pick up a drill bit. This is what the uh, finished piece looks like right there. It's got grooves on both ends it's for grabbing with your thumb and forefinger. There's a hole in each end. And this is the finished tool right here with the uh, tool heads pressed into the end. It's 
for Smith & Wesson Revolver Trigger Spring uh, Rebound Removal Smith Master Tool, the use of which is shown in another video on, uh, of mine on YouTube. Thanks for watching.